I'm going to try to be as unbiased as possible, but a lot of this is based on personal experience. Hi, I'm Shell, and I'm a cosplayer. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Or if you're a subscriber, welcome back. What is this fancy board beside me, you may ask? Well, it's the fan art board, but today it has been stripped of its fan art for a more educational experience. Today we are talking about cosplay wig sellers, the pros and cons of every company I have experience with. This is a topic my subscribers voted to see, so if you want to have a say in future video topics, make sure you are subscribed down below and keep an eye on the community tab. There are a lot of cosplay wig companies out there, and I personally don't think any of them are bad. This video is not meant to be a ranking or even really a comparison between companies. It's just to highlight the individual pros and cons of each. We will be evaluating wig companies based on four categories. Without further ado, let's hop right into it with our first company, Arda Wigs. Arda Wigs is based in the United States and is often considered the gold standard in cosplay. I personally have bought from Arda and their wigs are very high quality. So for our first category, they get a ranking of... Fit in the hole. Good! This pin board's gonna be the death of me, I can already tell you. I'm ranking all of these categories as either good, okay, or poor. And to be honest with you, if I was ranking them like more thoroughly, I would put very good for this category because Arda has very high quality wigs. Arda wigs are made of thick, dense, heat resistant fibers and they are very good for intense styles. If you are trying to make a literal hair sculpture, Arda is your best bet. However, that comes at a cost. For price, Arda gets a ranking of poor, which is ironic because you need to be rich to afford these wigs. With the high quality comes a pretty high cost. Basic wigs, like a bob with bangs, can start at around $35 to $40. If you can afford an Arda wig, I can almost guarantee you it's going to be a very good wig. But that's if you can afford it. For options, I am giving Arda a ranking of... Okay. Which is a little strange because I will admit, when I was first thinking of these rankings, I was going to give them a good. But then I thought about it a little more. Wig companies typically operate in one of two models, which I call style color or character wigs. Companies that operate by style color make a variety of styles of wigs in a variety of colors. So you can pick which color you want and then pick a lace front or a ponytail or a bob or spiky hair. Companies that do character wigs sell wigs designed for specific characters. So under the style color model, you would get a brown wavy lace front, but under the character wig model, you would get Catra. Arda operates by the style color model, and they actually have so many colors and so many styles that I was going to put a screenshot in here for you guys to like see, but it would not fit on my computer screen. Arda has so many colors, it's seriously amazing. However, the downside is, once you find the perfect color, you can't guarantee it's actually going to be in the wig style that you need. Some of their less popular colors are only produced in a few products, so it's honestly kind of hit or miss. So unfortunately, for options, I have to just give them an okay. Let's talk shipping. Arda is kind of notorious for issues with stock and back order. If you're lucky to find the wig you want in the color you want, you then have to find if it's in stock in their warehouse, which, again, is kind of a hit or miss. This issue is actually so prevalent that Arda puts out deadlines on their social media channels, so like a few months before KatsuCon, they'll announce that like, this is the last week to order if you need your wig by KatsuCon! So yeah, it's, it's a little bit of an issue. I have a couple of Arda wigs, and one of them took six months to arrive to me. So yeah, uh, if you do want to order from Arda, they are very good products, but order it in advance. Our next contender on the board is... Arda Canada! 
That's right, Arda has a Canadian branch. Obviously, Arda Wigs Canada is based in Canada. You'd think they'd be almost identical to their American counterpart, but there are some key differences. For quality, Arda Canada gets an okay. I personally have never bought from Arda Canada, but I know several people who have, and it seems to be mixed reviews. Now for price, Arda US got a rating of poor, but Arda Canada gets okay. I think it may be something to do with conversion rates, but when I was researching for this video, I did convert the Canadian prices to US dollars, and they were cheaper. However, they make up for that in shipping, which we'll talk about later. First, options. For options, Arda Canada is, again, okay. Like Arda US, Arda Canada has a range of options, but it seems to be a little bit more limited. But if you can manage to find the wig you want at Arda Canada, you can get it shipped to you for a heck ton of money. Arda Wigs US has a starting cost of $10 for shipping within the United States. Arda Canada has a starting cost of $16 within Canada and $15 to the US. So it's cheaper to ship it across the border, actually. I don't know. I don't know how that happened, but it did. The interesting thing about Arda Canada is that I have heard of instances of cosplayers in the United States ordering from Arda Canada instead of Arda US because Arda Canada had what they needed in stock and it would actually ship faster than the US Arda. So they ordered it from another country. It got here faster, but the quality wasn't as good. I can't be too mean to Arda though, because I am afraid they will see this and like try to sue me or something. So we're gonna move on to our next company. Next on the board is Epic Cosplay. This is another US wig company, quite similar to Arda in that they operate by the style color model. For quality, I give Epic Cosplay an okay. But to be honest, it's kind of like between okay and good. Epic Cosplay wigs are pretty good. They are heat resistant, they're pretty useful for styling. They do sometimes have a reputation of being a bit more shiny, whereas the high quality Arda wigs are like completely matte. I do not own an Epic Cosplay wig, but I was actually at a convention with my friend Emmy and I really liked her wig, it looked really good. And I asked where it was from and she was like, Epic Cosplay. And let me tell you, I was amazed. So honestly, my next wig might need to be Epic Cosplay. They seem pretty dang good. So I'm putting it as okay here, but think of it more as like, okay, the cusp of good. You know what, hold on. Yeah, like, like half and half, you know? For price, Epic Cosplay gets a solid okay. I was fairly pleased with the prices of Epic Cosplay wigs. They aren't super unreasonable, but they are still a bit on the expensive side. However, I think they kind of make up for this because their options are pretty dang good. Epic Cosplay is another company that operates by the style color model. The biggest reason why I'm rating their options as good is because almost every single color I looked at on their website was produced in a good variety of wigs. With Arda, I said it's a bit of a hit or a miss whether you can find the color you want in the style you want. Epic Cosplay doesn't really seem to have that issue. Another thing I really like about Epic Cosplay, their shipping. I don't know how long this policy has been around for, but on the day I was researching, Epic Cosplay was giving every order free standard shipping. When you factor in the free shipping, the prices are pretty good deals, and I'm honestly quite impressed. Whew, I have to stop and get a new battery and SD card because I've been filming for far too long. Next up is the Five Wits Wigs. This is another US company, and it is actually based in Vermont. Whoop whoop! For quality, I give Five Wits a rating of good. I cannot speak to their like heat styling capabilities and how heat resistant they are but they are thick, they do not show wefts, and they are not too shiny. For price, I give Five Wits an okay. Not great, not terrible, 
just okay. I actually felt like the pricing on their wigs varied kind of widely. Some of their wigs seemed very expensive for what they were, and others seemed very reasonable. So it depends on which one you're buying. Now talking options, I am actually going to give Five Wits a rating of poor. Five Wits operates under what I call the character model, where they sell specific wigs meant for specific characters. If you are looking for a character with unique hair or maybe a specialty style, that would be a great option for you. However, it's kind of confusing for me actually. The wigs are obviously meant for like one or two characters because the company names them like a string of strange words to kind of like give the impression of the character without violating any copyrights. But if you don't know which character they're talking about and it's like from an anime you haven't heard of, it's really confusing actually. <laughs> if you aren't shopping for a character specific wig, I find it to be a very confusing experience. So I personally have never purchased from them. For shipping, they get a rating of okay from me. Shipping starts at $5, and like I said, they are in Vermont, so they are US-based and will get a US order to you fairly quickly. It seems like under normal circumstances they do ship internationally, but those have been affected by COVID and Brexit and other happenings, so right now you cannot get them outside the US, I believe. So in summary, if you are looking for one specific character and Five Wits has that character, they're not a bad option. I just personally find their website really confusing. Now let's move away from the small independent companies and talk about the monstrous behemoth that will enslave us all one day. Amazon! If you have never bought a wig through Amazon, I highly suggest you give it a look. I have an entire video on my channel specifically about how I buy wigs on Amazon that are both good quality and good prices. Now, Amazon wigs are a bit difficult to define as a general category because Amazon hosts many smaller sellers, and those smaller sellers have different levels of quality. So overall for quality, I'm going to give Amazon an okay. I have found some wig brands I really, really like on Amazon. I've also found some wig brands that didn't work as well for me. If you want to buy an Amazon wig and make sure it is good, read reviews and definitely check out that video I made. For prices, I am giving Amazon a good rating because Amazon has some of the best wig prices I have seen. I have a beautiful lace front wig from Amazon for just $40, which frankly is a robbery. Now for options, I am also rating Amazon as good because frankly, you can find almost any type of wig on Amazon. Because there are so many sellers on Amazon, there are a ton of different options for wigs. And actually the options are sometimes overwhelming. Oh, my good is on the floor, hold on. <laughs> so you can probably guess I'm also giving Amazon a good for their shipping. You can get a lot of things delivered to you in about a week or less, which is significantly faster than any other company on this list. However, because Amazon sells everything, not just wigs, you have to be a lot more proactive as a shopper. You have to be willing to do more research, read more reviews, and make a lot more searches to find what you want. Next up on the board, we have Rockstar Wigs. I personally do not know as much about Rockstar wigs, but I believe they are US based. For quality, I'm going to give Rockstar wigs a good rating because they do make very high quality wigs. If you're ever bored, give a scroll through their website because their products are pretty interesting. Unfortunately though, everything in this world comes at a cost and Rockstar wigs come at quite a cost. These wigs are expensive, y'all. Real expensive. For options, I give Rockstar wigs an okay. There are character wigs, and there's like Lolita wigs, and there's a small selection of style color wigs, but honestly, the whole collection seems kind of eclectic. Like, there's just a ton going on. For shipping, I give them an okay. Shipping starts at $7 within the United States. You guys know that on this channel I strive to be honest but polite, um, so I don't know how much more I can say about Rockstar wigs. You guys should definitely check them out yourself and form your own opinion. 
Friends, we are nearing the end of our wig extravaganza. This is the second to last company. I think this company is officially wig supplier, like I think that's their web address. So Google that and like it will pop up for you. Wig supplier is an Asian seller, that's right. We're getting out of states. And I would rate their quality as good. I have several friends that have bought from wig supplier and they are very, very satisfied with their purchases. These wigs are surprisingly thick and pretty dang good quality. And great news, I rate their prices as good. I've known about wig supplier for several years and yet every time I go on their website, their prices still surprise me. Like these are very affordable wigs. Now, in my opinion, wig supplier mostly operates by the character wig model where they have specific wigs meant for specific characters. Not only are their character wigs good quality and fairly priced, a lot of them come pre-styled for you. However, the best part to me is that they also have a good selection of style color wigs. So whether you're looking for a wig based on character or based on color, Wig Supplier is a pretty good option. Now, they are an Asian company and shipping can get a little tricky, so I am rating it as okay. Shipping to the US starts at $7 and for that price you will receive it within 20 to 30 days. If you're a beginner cosplayer working on a budget and maybe scared to style a full wig yourself, wig supplier could be a great option for you. Now, last but not least, if you are the 10% of my audience living in the UK, this next company is for you. Costcraft. Oh, you can't see that. Costcraft. This is a UK-based cosplay supply store, and I actually discovered them because they had a booth when I went to MCM London. So I have seen and touched and felt these wigs in person, and they are pretty good. Costcraft doesn't just sell wigs. They have all sorts of materials that you might use for cosplay. For their prices, I am giving them a rating of okay, and this, this is kind of like a weird reason, so let me actually, let me do some things and explain. So as you can see, I think their options and shipping are good in addition to their quality. And to be honest with you, I would have given their price a good rating too, but I didn't want to print out more than three of each word. I'll just be completely honest, I didn't want to print out another word. I didn't think any one company would need four of the same word, but Coscraft proved me wrong. So pretend this one is like on the verge of okay and good. It's like, it's like kind of a fake okay. Their prices are actually pretty dang good. Anyway, their prices are very, very reasonable for the product you are receiving. Their options, also good. They operate by the style color model and I was really impressed with their range of colors. They offer like 72 colors. Now again, not every single style is available in every single color, but I think there's a pretty good chance you'll find what you're looking for. And the shipping? I actually thought I was making a mistake at first calculating shipping because it is so fair, I cannot believe it. Shipping for any purchase starts at two pounds. Two. I mean, like, okay, when I was in the UK, I had my groceries delivered for free. So maybe it's just been like too long and I don't remember like how much it costs to get things delivered there. But guys, shipping in the US is not that cheap. It is never that cheap. It's not. As your local American idiot, I may actually cry over that shipping because it is so damn good. And they ship out twice a week. Even right now, in the pandemic, they are shipping out twice every week. Royal Mail. Standard. Oh my. Like, oh my god, take me back to England just so I can shop at Coscraft, please. They seem so cool! <clears throat> anyway, uh, those are all the wig companies I know of. Like I said at the beginning, every company has pros and cons, and you should pick the one that is best for you. I hope this video was informative or helped you in some way, especially because I made so many props for it. Don't let my printer ink go to waste, please. <laughs> if you enjoyed listening to my rambles, make sure you are subscribed down below, hit that thumbs up icon, and let me know in the comments what you think about these companies. Which ones would you buy from? Which ones might you not? What is best suited for you and your cosplay? Let me know. If you like hanging out with me here on Fridays and want more of me, bless you if you do, 
I'm over on Instagram every day with posts multiple times a week, so check me out on there. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!